We're on your time. Hi, my name is Alec, and of course, welcome to my senior events. Uh, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so, other than me, this is my family. Um, so, I don't mean to brag, but they're all pretty cool. Uh, especially my sister down there. Um, even though she kicks me out of the room every single time I try to go in there. But uh, yeah, we're cool. Um, aside from that, uh, we got my grandparents on DC sides. Um, so my heritage is, is kind of all over the place because uh, I'm, I'm part Japanese, uh, I'm part Puerto Rican, I'm part um, Dutch, and I'm even German. But it all works out in the end. So on the other hand, these are my friends. Um, every single last one of these people are fantastic. Um, they pushed me to continue with my projects and passions inside of school and outside, and there's honestly no way I can repay you guys. But for now, thank you, because if it wasn't for you guys, I don't, I don't know if I would still be doing my, my passions outside of school. Uh, speaking of those, uh, I have some extracurricular stuff that I do, not really the standard stuff like sports, but I write, draw, and even do game design. And that's actually kind of the theme of my of this senior events. Uh, it's all visually at least based on what's been my main passion project ever since sophomore year. So, so this is kind of a bit of a representation of uh, the senior events. This line up here, uh, 3,064 of these is the four years that I've been here. Well, you can't actually see it back here, but that's the 20 minutes that I'm doing right now. So we got a lot of stuff to cover. Let's get started. Uh, I have done more than grow as a student at Kyoto. Uh, I have gained skills, social and mental, for the real world. Uh, they're skills that I'll be able to employ in my professional endeavors and also in my personal life. Ultimately, I have grown as a person. Though there is a catch. Um, in order to grow, you have to start from a point where there is room to grow. And I had a lot of room to grow in freshman year. Good Eats, uh, one of which I talked about soda. Uh, so <laughs> Good Eats was, the, was one of the first major projects that I, that I had here. Um, it was an integrated project. And so we, we took elements from PE, such as uh, using like, data from, from PE class. We uh, did mathematical analyses. And we also, um, we, we took all this together and we, we made not only an advertisement, but also a presentation, a board, and a paper. So I mostly want to focus on this paper. Um, how does soda affect weight gain in the body? So that was what I titled it, which is a fine enough title for a scientific paper. Uh, but the thing that I really want to draw your attention to is the actual writing. So these first two sentences, they're just really bad, honestly. Um, <laughs> they're, it's really funky, uh, and the writing just doesn't flow as it should. Um, soda has the ability to cause weight gain and inflict disease in the body if it is drunk a very high amount of the time. It can cause mass weight gain and cause obesity in a very high amount of people every day. So, as I'm sure you can hear, this is a very freshman project. Um, <laughs> it, it doesn't sound very good. Uh, as I said, it's very clunky, it doesn't flow, uh, and it's not something that I would feel proud in writing today. So, so yeah. So let's let's flash forward and simultaneously flash back to years past. Junior year, 1861. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. So, in junior year, we had a project known as Night at the Medical Museum. Uh, this the purpose of this project was to look back on the past of the history of medicine and choose, uh, we, in our groups we would have an era, so for my group it was the Civil War era, uh, but we would also choose a specific disease based on that era, so in my case I chose typhus, and typhus is actually a group of diseases, uh, not necessarily one specific disease, ranging from pretty mild and treatable to absolutely murderous. So, for example, scrub typhus would be able to cause what's called encephalitis, which is basically your brain inflames to the point where it's being crushed by your skull, and then you would die. 
So obviously that's bad. Um, but nowadays there's all types of uh, antibiotics and treatments that would deal with it. But back then it was much more of a big deal. Uh, just like with Good Eats, I'm going to focus on the paper that I wrote for this. Uh, it was actually journals that we wrote in character for the, the time period and the disease. So uh, just as an example, Dear Journal, I haven't written in a while now. Have I? <laughs> it certainly doesn't help. There's only one page left in my journal. A lot has happened since last time. Surprisingly enough, not a lot of it was fighting. So this was a man in the Civil War. Or not a real man, but obviously uh, fictional. Uh, he was basically, he when went to the war. He, he came across the typhus disease and eventually had to be hospitalized. And this is him on his deathbed. So uh, the idea is that the writing is not only a lot more smooth in, in like how it was written, but obviously unlike the good eats writing, it, it's just better, really. Uh, it's not as clunky, it comes out better, and it, it, it's much more precise to what I meant to say in what I was writing, rather than being just verbose for the sake of being verbose. So, just because I was able to improve in my text writing, which actually, uh, it's something that, that I should specify that actually, it, writing in text with like this is super important for the for pretty much any career, but much more specific in my case, uh, where I'm going to be going into uh, computer science, where I'm going to have to do coding. Uh, every single last letter down to the dot has to be precise and correct, or else it will break the entire system. So writing like writing and making sure that I'm precise in what I mean is extremely important to me. So that's, that doesn't mean that I'm, that's, I've necessarily gotten much better in my speaking, though, just because I've gotten better in text. So let's look at this project, uh, the Shakespeare project, senior year. Um, and so for this project, we had to choose a play and basically read through it. My group chose Macbeth, which was actually a really lucky pick because we ended up reading the book almost immediately after we selected it. So that's kind of beside the point, though. Um, so we, we chose Macbeth, and we had to make a video uh, that would kind of be, that would that would follow two specific scenes from the play. It was actually two separate videos, technically. Uh, and then we would make a presentation that would surround these, these videos. The presentation was, was, the core of the presentation was essentially the videos because everything leading up to and after in the presentation would um, would be build up to explaining what's what's going on in these scenes. So for example, we would have a family tree where we would explain like all the different character relations and how they know each other. And then afterwards, we would ask questions about to make sure that the viewers were engaged and following what we were talking about in these scenes and showing. So I think I did really well on this project. It wasn't perfect, but it was definitely one that I enjoyed. Uh, but I would say my main claim to fame in this project was the was the acting and the and the voice acting that I did. So basically, I did a voice like this to show Macbeth and and his character and all that, right? So this guy, he was he was very he was very to the point. He was like, I talk like this, you know, you know what I mean, right? So the idea is that in in being able to to specifically talk in a certain way in addition to saying lines shows that um, I'm, I'm able to not only like write well, as shown in the other one, but also I can speak in a very pointed way and make sure that I'm getting the point across along with even getting across themes if need be. So, uh, actually, in this project, we also, I, also, I also edited the video. So, um, I personally use Movie Maker. For, for my editing. There's better softwares out there, but that's what I use. Uh, and and I actually I actually spend a lot of time doing video editing. Uh, I, I have a personal YouTube channel that I that I upload videos that I make in my spare time for. But the thing is I haven't always been good at making videos. Uh, sophomore your Spanish. Uh, this is honestly one of the hardest classes I've had throughout these years here at Desert Living. Uh, mostly because I kind of suck at learning languages, honestly. Uh, yeah, it's going to go. Uh, so the, the, 
the thing was, we had a project where we had to make a music video. And for this music video, uh, it had to be based on lunch and like different uh, food related items. So for example, uh, in my group of four, we, we had to, we, we decided that we were going to base the whole thing off of the premise of uh, there's people eating lunch, but there's one guy who keeps saying, I want like cookies or dessert, so like he wants galletas instead of almuerzo, right? So then the rest of the people are like, no, we're eating lunch, we're gonna eat lunch. <laughs> we, don't, we don't want cookie time now. And so that sounds fun, but the, the group that I was working with really was not gonna get any work done, it, it seemed like at, at the time. And, and for some reason there was even two people in the group, I won't name drop or anything, but they really wanted the video to be about fighting and like beating each other up, which I really don't get why, but that's that's what we ended up doing because the rest of the group, including me, didn't really care that much and we really just wanted to get the project done. So we have scenes like this where he's just throwing him on the ground uh, and other scenes like doing weird parkour stunts, like jumping off of a bench. Uh, so yeah, so what I figured was maybe I should try to figure out how to get this project to work, right? So I was like, well, we could sing over the video. We could have the, the singing that we were doing overlaid over it with the music and also the video. And I figured it's a music video that should work. Uh, but if I had actually read the rubric better, I would have known that we were actually supposed to be seen singing in the video, not just over the video. So that was kind of uh, a failed attempt at problem solving because I really should have paid more attention, and, and, the, and the group didn't really mesh well at all. Just a lot of issues came up with this project. So maybe I could prove myself in the project that is almost entirely about figuring out unique solutions to problems. Uh, so Clue, otherwise known as um, constitutional links using ethics and evidence. Uh, the idea was we had to solve the murder case of a Mr. Lucius Libby, uh, with six distinct peers, all as primary suspects for his murder case. We had to look through tons of evidence and figure out who could have done it. So, uh, for example, one of, the, one of the first pieces of evidence that came up was whether or not, or which, which floor he could have fallen from, uh, from uh, the hotel building that he was staying in. Uh, there was also a smashed window in the hotel building, and nearby there was blood in, there was blood in his car. So, it was, so in addition to that, we were able to put that together with this to find that he was probably in the hotel. Uh, so we knew that he was in room 308. So we had kind of a good idea that he was on the third floor, but we wanted to make sure by checking the map to see if he could have possibly fallen from the third floor. We had seen that his his fall had when he was falling, he had to have reached somewhere between 10 and 20 meters per second. And we know that the formula right here, final velocity squared minus initial velocity squared equals 2a, final distance minus initial distance, would answer that. So we used the final velocity, we, we, we were trying to find the final velocity. Uh, we had the initial velocity, which was zero, because it started from the top. Uh, we had the, we had the 2a, and then we had Final distance in the initial distance, which was that each floor up was about three meters up in velocity. So putting all that together, we used that to to show <coughs> that it was entirely possible for him to have fallen from the third floor of the building. This was just one of many pieces of evidence that we found in Clue. Uh, mixing that together with a ton of other pieces of, of evidence that we had gathered together, and in addition, we had talked about um, due process laws in in. Um, in government, we, we pieced all that together, and we had to make a presentation and a video showing how it was all done. So, uh, obviously, this this had to do more. We had more video, video editing to do and acting, but primarily, the the main focus of the project was taking all the evidence pieces and figuring out how it was done and who done it. So. We never found out who exactly killed him, but we would like to. But I would like to think that the ghost of the, the ghost of fictional character Lucius Libby uh, has passed on uh, peacefully. And just.
just like the ghost, we will be passing on to the second semester of the senior year. Truth is, we're in the end game now. Uh, International Economic Summit. This was this was a this was a senior year integrated project where we basically had to study a bunch of information about Australia and and different countries and figure out um, and, and and be economic economic advisors to our country. So, for example, I looked into information about. Um, the, the intellectual elements of Australia, such as, um, for example, the like their education system and their their different uh, the technological advancements that they had, had invented. And then I also looked into the health equity issue of, of Australia, and that one was skin cancer. So uh, the, the main reason why Australia has uh, major issues with skin cancer is that they there's, they're especially close to the sun during during summertime, which increases the amount of UV rays, and there's and there's also a hole in the ozone layer down there because of all that sun and also from production and stuff like that. Uh, so they they get they're a lot more close to the types of things that would cause skin cancer. In addition, they really like spending time on the beach. I don't blame them honestly. Uh, so. Part of this project was also editing a video, which I, I worked on that, no surprise. Um, but we also had to ally up with other teams and in order to uh, figure out the, the types of trades that we were going to be making at what was called the, um, the Economic Summit. Uh, so on Summit Day, we had to have all kinds of things. So we had to have a board, we had to have food, and we had to you know, make performances and, and all that. And but the main focus of it was actually uh, making trades, as I said before, with the different alliances. Um, so we actually met five of our nine goals, which isn't great, but we were able to make up for that in, in our other elements. Uh, for example, this is what our board kind of looked like. I wasn't able to get a picture of it, but I kind of made a recreation of it. Uh, we had different images of like different animals that you would find in Australia. And Scenery, and of course, on the top of the Sydney Opera House. Uh, this is how I dressed because we all had to wear outfits and even a snake as a prop. So, yeah, that was the main thing with International Economic Summit. Uh, yeah. So, so moving on, uh, after this, we were thrust directly into what was called Be the Change. So. Uh, groups were split up into groups of about, uh, about four or five, maybe more people, uh, where we, we would choose uh, an, an issue that we found in the world that we wanted to try to advocate for or even make change yourself for. So uh, my group decided he wanted to focus on carbon emissions, and we titled it Cherish or Perish, regarding the world, of course. Uh, so there was all kinds of stuff that we did for this project, uh, because we, we have to do all kinds of Items. So, for example, we ran an Instagram page. I didn't really do much regarding that, but I did uh, make these pins. Uh, only only one of them ended up being used, the one with the tree on it. But uh, yeah, and I would have a pin on me, but I forgot it at home. It's all right though. Um, so the other thing that we did was the, this was the more major thing that we did was we we created essentially kind of a garden using succulents. So we, so we would plant them in here after removing all the dead plants from that planter box because there was a lot of dead plants. Uh, and that was, our, that was the most major thing. And actually throughout the entire time that we were working on it, there were actually other students here at the school that were, that were helping us out, which I found actually kind of surprising, but it was, it was really great to see that we were able to help lead our community in, in trying to try to improve things like this planter box. Uh, so, after that, we, we led up to what was the Pecha Kucha, and the whole premise of that was that we had this presentation, we all made our own slides, uh, where it would automatically move to the next slide after 15 seconds, and we would talk through it and explain everything that we did. Uh, 
personally, there's actually one part where I got cut off, but like, luckily it was like right at a point where I was able to continue on and it was perfectly fine. So with one life without a break in the bag, we were able to finish this project, and this was the second to last senior project, leading us back to here, senior defense in the present day. And soon enough, it'll be the future. Um, I plan on going to LMC. Uh, I don't know what four year I plan on uh, changing to after, uh, after LMC, but hey man, that's, that's what uh, community college is about. So I plan on figuring that out. Uh, I plan to major in computer science. Uh, if, if, if that hadn't become clear in the other parts of my presentation. So um, throughout these years here at Dojo Libby, I feel like I've been able to really improve my skills in in like helping to like lead people and creating and like communicating with others and scouring out information and figuring out like like for example if I were to write a story or or to make a drawing where I need like inspiration for stuff I, I could find it on the internet or whatever I need to find out and even just using technology in general and being able to put forth, like, being able to use computers and such in ways, whenever it comes up. So, uh, I, I just really want to thank you guys all for being here, um, especially you guys. Uh, 